How's it going tonight YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So for a while now I've been working on a mobile mechanic setup and it's come time to outfit it with tools. So I got an Amazon tool haul for you tonight. If you're curious about the mobile mechanic setup, hit that subscribe button because I'll have a video coming out for that thing shortly. Well, let's get on to this Amazon tool haul. Here we go. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm outfitting a project I'm working on for a mobile mechanic and I needed some tools. I wanted to keep everything fairly compact and you know relatively light duty because anything big it's going to be coming to the shop. So the first thing I got is a 15 pocket wrench holder. This is made by Denifitter. It's a, a waxed cotton canvas and holds got space for 15 wrenches or 15 tools so I figured that I'd put my Milwaukee max bite wrench set in it because this thing comes in this clunky plastic tray and you pick it up the wrong way you dump them all over the ground it's gonna put these in the canvas wrap that way I can roll them up tuck them away keep them accessible from the next job there, it fits nicely. Now I got my metric wrench set all the way from eight millimeter to 22. You can have it laid out so each wrench is easy accessible. And when I'm done using it, just fold it up, roll it up, you can tie it up so it doesn't come unrolled and you lose all your tools. Put that off to the side and see what we got next. If you got any questions about anything in this box, leave a comment in the comment section and ask. Or I'll leave a link to everything in the box in the description of this video. Next, I needed a basic quarter inch, three eighths inch socket set. So, I picked this up. It's a quarter inch and three eighths drive socket set, 69 pieces from EP Auto. So it comes in this blow molded case, which makes it nice and easy for carrying around. Got the uh, plastic clasps. Open it up. Got your nice foam insert there. Keep the sockets from rattling around. Okay, up at the top, you got your three eighths deep sockets. The standard goes from 3 8 all the way up to 3 quarters, not skipping anything. And the metric goes from 10 to 19, but you're missing the 18, the 16, and the 11 millimeter. The shallow 3 8 metric goes from 10 to 19, not skipping anything. And the shallow Standard goes from 3 8 up to 13 16 not skipping anything. You got your 3 8 quarter inch ratchet, a couple of extensions, and then you got your quarter inch sockets. And the quarter inch sockets, there's no skipping. The deeps go from quarter inch to half inch, and the shallow goes from 3 16 to half inch. The metric shallow goes from 6 to 13 millimeter, and the deeps go from 7 to 13 millimeter. And you got a 13 16 and a 5 8 spark plug socket. Now the 3 8 and quarter inch ratchet are both the same design. It's the pair style. You got a quick release button on the top to help push the socket off. It's a 72 teeth. And kind of what I like about the selector is the way the head's designed. It's kind of recessed down a little bit. So when you're using it, there's just a little bit less chance of, uh, you know, shifting the direction. Nothing worse than trying to tighten it up and all of a sudden you bump it, shift it over to loosen, stuff like that. Now the teeth sound fairly coarse, which, uh, you know, might make for some good strength. Everything seems pretty tight in it. The finish is good. 
And I think for some minor repairs and something to take with you when you're going mobile, I think this is going to be a, a good little set. You know, it's a nice compact case. And it's not too bulky, so it'll stow away nice and easy. So let's see what else I got in the Amazon box. So next I wanted to add another ratchet to the setup. So I picked up this. I've always been partial to the swivel headed ratchets. So I thought I'd try this one from Ulsa Tools. Part number on that, 1249. It's a 90 tooth design. Seems to be easily to, you know, easily pushed to get the next tooth and it's nice and fine. So you should always be able to grab that next tooth in a tough spot. One thing I like about this, some people may not like it, is the selector's raised a little bit. So if you're wearing gloves or something like that, it just makes it that much easier to change direction. You know, the head's fairly tight in there, but that's also adjustable. So you can back it off or tighten it up depending on your needs. Feels good in the hand. The reason I like the swivel head ratchets is it doesn't matter what angle you want. You can go full, full sweep, back and forth. It's got a full 270 degrees and a four degree arc to catch that next gear. So I'll put that in with my other tools. And we got one more thing in the box. Let me show you. Now usually whenever I'm mobile, I always take my go-to 3 8 impact wrench, my Milwaukee M12. So I needed a set of impact sockets. So I got this set from Castleman. It's a 48 piece, standard metric, in a blow molded case. Again, it's got your foam liner to help stop everything from rattling around and hold it in place. The metric, shallow, and deep sockets go from 8 millimeter up to 22 with no skips except for 20 millimeter. The SAE, shallow, and deep sockets go from 5 16 up to 3 quarters with no skips except for 11 30 seconds. But that's not really a deal breaker if you ask me. And you got a 3 8 to half inch adapter, universal socket, and two extensions. You know, right out of a the case, they got, uh, you got a film of oil on them. So either, you know, that's going to annoy you having oil on them, or when you're, if you're using them out in the rain and stuff, it's going to help keep them from rusting. If anything here interests you, hit that subscribe button. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this stuff as much as I can for the next month or so. And then I'm going to do just a quick little follow-up video. Let you know how everything's working and what my thoughts are after I've used it for a little while. Because really, this is just an unboxing video. I haven't really put anything through its paces. So, we'll find out in the next month or so. Like I said earlier in the video, link to everything you see here is in the description of the video if you want uh, any more information. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I guess I can uh, load all this up and get put it to use. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when I get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good night and keep wrenching.